Hi, I'm uh, Thomas Bourne, Director of uh, Clicker Life Coach. And I'm here today with uh, Paula Brunners Bourne uh, and we're presenting our 10 Tips series. Today we start off with the uh, 10 tips for a successful job interview. Mm -hmm. Paula, how did they come along? Um, that's a great question actually, Thomas. This came about through a lots of um, collaboration between our customers and some feedback we were getting through Clicker Life Coach. Many of our clients have gone through many or uh, career transition and they wanted some tips and some advice okay. on how to get the maximum out of their job interview and the theme, a theme came along so we decided to collate all the, the most uh, uh, frequently asked questions and put them together in this top 10 series. Fantastic idea. Mm. Okay, let's get started. Great. Now tip number one, do you really want this job? That's really important because if this is your ideal job, then you need to do everything possible to make it happen. So visualize the interview going your way and you've said all the right things. Also imagine yourself getting that magic phone call, you have the job. Fantastic. Yeah, I guess if you don't want to have this job, there's no point of going to the interview, <laughs> isn't there? That's right. <laughs> okay, tip number two, research the company. With the internet nowadays being such a big resource, uh, mm. you find information about the company, find out about the products, uh, read up about the mission statement which uh, you will most likely find on the internet. Mm. And it's also worthwhile researching the competition. Mm. Then you're really prepared for the interview and for any uh, you know, questions that might come up. That's a great point. Very good. Research is very important. Your due diligence. That's right. Uh, Number three, interview outfit. Go for a creative or advertising role, put some personality into it and wear some colour. Also, if, you, if dark colours tend to be more conservative, so if it is a more of a corporate uh, feel to the company, wear some dark colours. Also, another thing, if they may have stipulated casual attire, but I would recommend you overdress for the occasion and stick to your shirt and tie. You want to make a first good impression. You can always downgrade your uh, dress sense down the track. And if you do make it to the round number two, wear something different. And lastly, uh, also think about your aftershave or your perfume. Perfume, nothing overpowering. Very, very good advice. Mm -hmm. So what are we going for? I think we're going more for a conservative corporate job. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> See if that works. Mm -hmm. Okay, tip number four, prepare questions. Well, that's how, sort of, in my point of view, goes a bit hand in hand with uh, doing your research. While you do your research, think of potential questions that you can ask the, uh, the interviewer. The interview is always a two-way street. And uh, this uh, one question, for instance, you can ask uh, towards the end, what are your biggest challenges? And that's a fantastic uh, way to sort of start a bit of a, a two-way discussion during the interview. Mm, that's great. Absolutely. You want to know what, what the issues are and uh, a question like that mm. would definitely uh, break the ice. So that's right. Speak. And it just shows your interest in the company and in the role. Mm, great. Number five, connect with the audience. Now oftentimes there may be a panel, so make sure you make eye contact with all of them. Address them accordingly, and if you do remember their name, use their name. It's important to make that connection with them. Yeah, very good. Okay, tip number six, be there on time. Make sure you prepare your, your journey and be there at least 5 to 10 minutes before the interview starts. Mm -hmm. If you're concerned, if you're not sure how to get there, have a dry run the day before. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, just make sure you allow yourself ample of time. This way you arrive at the interview very relaxed. That's great. 
I think it's very important to be calm and relaxed before the interview. That's right. Um, yeah. Otherwise you're stressing that you're not going to be on time and you get flustered and sweaty and not a good look. Not a good look. <laughs> number, number seven, demonstrate your abilities. Now list your valuable strengths and weaknesses. You will be asked to elaborate on your strengths, so make sure you know what these are. And also, with your weaknesses, you don't necessarily want to tell your potential employer all about them, but if you've listed them, you can go into some detail. Very good advice. I like that. Okay, straight to tip number eight. Make a good impression. When you meet the other person, make sure you give a firm handshake. Make eye contact. Just always remember, first impression counts. It usually takes about uh, 10 seconds and the other person uh, forms already an opinion about you. If you wait for another person in the interview, make small talk and ensure you are yourself. Mm -hmm. Ask for a glass of water that gives, uh, gives you time to reflect on a question during the interview. That's a great tip, I like yeah. that one. It gives you some uh, thinking time. Yes. Now the next one is number nine, review your resume. Now you got to the interview stage, so there was something in your resume that caught their attention. Identify what that is. Show a natural progression with your job history and a natural flow. Now also with your, with your resume, you may be asked why you left your, your past job roles. Indicate that you wanted to advance, advance your career, have more career growth and have more new challenges. Never mention negatively your past company or people. It doesn't reflect well on you. And keep in mind that you will be asked to talk about your achievements and keep this in mind with uh, answering those questions. Very good, Paula. Tip number 10. Show interest in the job. you want the job, go get it. Mm. Show enthusiasm during the interview and uh, say something like, uh, I'm very interested in this role. Mm. If you're too distant during the interview, mm. it doesn't bring the role towards you. Mm. Let them know you're the ideal candidate. That's perfect. Yes. It's your job. Ask for it. That's right. Just recapping on the 10 tips of a successful job interview. Number one. Do you really want this job? Number two, research the company. Number three, interview outfit. Number four, prepare potential questions. Number five, connect with the audience. Number six, be on time. Number seven, Demonstrate your abilities. Number eight, create a good first impression. Number nine, review your resume. And number ten, show interest in the job. Okay, this concludes uh, our first uh, ten tip series. Uh, thank you, Paula. Oh, thank you, Thomas. And I'll hope to see you all soon uh, for our next ten tips. That's right. Coming soon.